Hello students once again welcome back to history classroom today i am going to give you history mcq okay mcq from history and civics icse 2023 i hope by now you all have completed the syllabus only two and a half months left for your examination and so you all are well prepared so let's start mcq from history okay entire syllabus i have covered okay come on let's start first one all bills passed by the lok sabha are authenticated by the signature of the okay look four options are there president speaker chairman prime minister okay the correct option is president okay the correct answer is president next question all executive orders are issued in names of first option president second option speaker third option cabinet minister last option prime minister correct answer is president next question who is the keystone of the cabinet arc first option president second option speaker third option vice president and the last option is prime minister correct answer is prime minister next question who introduced subsidiary alliance first option lord canning second option lord minto third option lord wellesley and the last option lord dalhousie correct answer is lord Del sorry lord wellesley okay next question no europeans could be tried for criminal offence except by european judge or magistrate was the main essence of okay first is queen victoria's proclamation second is general service enlistment act the last option is ilbert bill controversy correct answer is ilbert bill controversy okay next question who was india's unofficial ambassador in england first option dada bhai nehru ji second option sn banerji third option bipin chandra pawal correct answer is dada bhai nehru ji clear next question an important step on the road to hindu muslim unity was the first option is ilbert bill second option lucknow pact third option home rule okay correct answer is lucknow pact next question the real motive behind the partition of bengal was first option is the unity between the hindu and the muslim second is to give freedom to india third is to drive a wedge between hindus and the muslim correct option is to drive a wedge between the hindu and the muslim next question the book named gulam gadi was written by first option is bankim chandra chatterjee second option rabindranath tagore third option jyotiba phule and the last option is raja ram mohan roy correct answer is jyotiba phule next question who announced the successor of bahadur shah could not use imperial titles first option is lord canning next option is lord dalhousie third option is lord wellesley and the last option is lord trippen correct answer is lord dalhousie next question one of the aims of muslim league was okay first option is to fight for india's freedom second is to exhibit loyalty towards the british third is to increase encourage the feeling of hostility the last option is to revolt against the britishers correct answer is to exhibit loyalty towards the britishers okay up to this much and in next video i am going to bring something new okay until then goodbye